Hey everyone, on this special edition of EduLife, we are at DS McKenzie Junior High, and today we're giving you an inside scoop of student teaching. So I'm gonna be talking to principals, teachers, and student teachers. So why don't we go inside and take a look? So we're joined now by an actual student teacher at DS McKenzie doing his AFX experience. So we have Brett Calvert. So Brett, what is your major and what are you teaching at DS McKenzie? Uh, my major is uh, drama and I teach drama eight and nine and I also teach uh, social studies seven and eight here at DS McKenzie. Perfect, so how has your AX AFX experience been so far? Oh, it's been great. It's been a great experience so far. Uh, it's a, it's been eye opening, and it's one of those things that you anticipate your whole degree, um, and you know you, the the four years um, that you're in the program, or five years, or two years, however long you're in the education program. This is what you wait for. This is what you're you're anticipating the whole time. So it's exciting to actually be here now and to actually be in it, and uh, I'm loving it. Absolutely. And now that it's almost coming to an end, yes. what's one word of advice or one thing you kind of never thought about when you're entering into your AFX? One of the things that I actually uh, never really thought about was was being the role of the teacher. Like y you realize that you are coming into a school and it's basically you, like you're in it. That's it. You're the teacher. And um, it was a, a little bit of a hard time adjusting to that coming out of a student mindset and then coming into to being the teacher and having the teacher mindset. So that's one of the one things that I think that I really had um, not a hard time with, but um, I, I realized I had to really force myself to be to become that role of the teacher of the of the actual adult inside the classroom. Yes, definitely. It's a big transition between student to a teacher, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is, and it's it's a little bit of it's a little bit of a shock at first, but I mean, you adjust and I mean, and you adapt and you have to, and it's it's been great though. And another thing, um, what's one big word of advice or words of wisdom that you'd like to give for future practicum students, education students, anything like that? Uh, one of the biggest things I would say is just be open-minded and be willing to try different things. Um, be able to experiment. Um, you don't learn otherwise from trying out different things. So uh, don't be afraid to jump into it and, uh, and get your head right into it because that's the only way you're going to really succeed at it. So that's what I would say. Definitely. Well, thank you yeah. so much, Brett. Thank you very much. So we now have Katie Bolter. She is an AFX student teacher at DS McKenzie. So Katie, what are you teaching and what grades are you teaching? I am teaching drama sevens, drama eights, and language arts grade eight. Wonderful. And what has been the highlight for your AFX experience so far? I think my highlight is recently I started the Glee Club within the school and it's had grade sevens, eights, and nines show up. It's been really great. They've created a little community and they're so interactive with each other. Uh, it involves a lot of dance and singing and I think it's really helped motivate some of the kids to come to school and stay at school and enjoy the environment of the school. Glee Club, that's awesome, yeah. might I say. It's really fun. <laughs> and any big surprises from your AFX so far? I think the biggest surprise was just um, learning how to time manage my life. So making a balance between my personal life and my teaching life and out of school activities within the school. Um, so I think, yeah, the biggest surprise was not learning classroom management. I mean, you can learn that from a class. Assessment, assessment you can learn from a class. Um, but yeah, learning how to survive as a human being to be a teacher was probably the biggest surprise. Definitely. And any last words of advice for students going into their AFX next year? I think just having a sense of humor about it. Um, whether you've been teaching for 5, 10, 20 years, you're going to have bad days. Um, you're going to, like, expert teachers still go home and might cry or like punch the pillow and hate <laughs> their life but just to laugh it off and come back the next day um, starting all anew so it's not just you it happens to every teacher if you have hard days and just relax and have fun it's learning what a definitely a definite positive outlook thank you so much katie thanks so moving right along we now have alana twin she's doing her afx experience at deuce mckenzie so alana what grades are you teaching and what subject are you teaching i'm teaching grades seven eight nine and it's the english language learners classroom Perfect. And what is the what has been the highlight of your AFS experience so far? Uh, the highlight has been honestly the the word we hear a lot, praxis, which is we spend four years learning all this theory and just getting to actually apply it and see it in action. It's a really positive experience. Absolutely. And so far, how is how has your AFS experience been? It's been wonderful. It's really confirmed my career choice and oh. just 
knowing what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's awesome. And any words of advice for students that will be teaching ELL in the future? Uh, keep in mind, classroom management might be one of the hardest challenges, but these students, they talk a lot. They're doing it English, though, so they're always learning. Keep that in the back of your head. Definitely. I was learning English back when I was in elementary, and that's definitely something that helped me. So thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And now we have Donovan Ekstrom. He is an IFX student teacher at DS McKenzie. So Donovan, what are you teaching? I'm guessing by your instrument you are teaching? Music. <laughs> is there anything else that you're teaching right now? What grades are you teaching? Well, I'm teaching grade 7 science and grade 7, 8, and 9 music. That's wonderful. So in your IFX experience, how has it been? How are you liking it so far? It's been quite a lot of fun. Uh, it has its ups and downs, but in, in the grand scheme of things, what doesn't have its ups and downs, right? And the ups are way worth it. It's a good time, having a good time. And any words of wisdom for students going to their IFX? Uh, keep focused, get your lesson plans in, make sure you do your reflections on time, and get everything <laughs> set and go and you'll be fine. That sounds definitely something that you should be doing. And last but not least, something that you learned from your IFX experience that you never thought you'd learn from the beginning? Um, I guess, uh, sort of picking out the different parts in music, especially you have a big wall of sound and it's kind of impressive how your ear starts to pick up the little things. Never thought that that would happen. Definitely. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> what? Thank you. And now we are joined by Jacqueline Anderson. She's an IFX student at Diaz McKenzie. So Jacqueline, what are you teaching and what grades are you teaching? I'm teaching grades seven, eight, and nine, phys ed. Awesome. And what has been the highlight of your IFX experience so far? So far, it's just been making relationships with the students. I feel phys ed really gives me an opportunity to do that a little bit more than a regular classroom, so I'm really happy for that. And how have you liked the IFX experience so far? I've loved it. This is a great school, and I'm so glad I was placed here. And it's almost done. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's been really <laughs> quick. <laughs> I'm really glad that uh, we're getting close to being done, but I'm going to miss the students for sure. Absolutely. And any last words of advice for students going into their practicum, especially teaching gym? Yeah, uh, just uh, being really organized and being able to be flexible kind of at a moment's notice. So being organized uh, and being prepared for that, just really important. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. So, Mr. Devon, thank you so much for being on our show. You're very welcome. So, first question of the day. From your experience, in your teaching experience, and as a principal, why is student teaching so essential and so important to teaching? Well, I think that at university, you learn the theory. You learn that that's the foundation of becoming a good teacher. But then you've got to take that theory and actually apply it to the classroom. Right. So, it's, it's the next step. Absolutely. And any words of wisdom for brand new students graduating this year, education students right now at the U of A? Well, um, I'll begin with the practicum experience itself. Um, I think that when you're in the practicum experience, it's really important to give it your all. This is your opportunity to show um, what you're made of and what you're capable of because it's the foundation of whether or not you get a job or not. So I think that um, student teachers need to really get involved in the school and do their very best, not only in the classroom, but I think they need to get involved in the whole school and show the per your personality, show what you're made of, and um, I think that's, that's really important. Um, once you get out of university and you're applying for jobs, I think that the advice I would give is to be persistent with school boards, but don't hassle them too much. <laughs> so you need to maintain contact, but not too often. There's a fine balance there. And uh, my final bit of advice would be not to be afraid to leave Edmonton or your, the big cities. Yeah. Um, I know I've taught in a rural school area for four years, and I still have very fond memories of that. So don't be afraid to travel outside of the cities, have an experience elsewhere you can always return later or you might just find that that's your niche and you might stay there forever but it's it's a good first step definite words of wisdom thank you so much mr devon you're very welcome we now have mr mike elson who is the assistant principal for ds mckenzie so mr elson what is so great about teaching you know there's many different things for many different people um working with kids has more rewards you can imagine the relationships you build with kids from different ages is so different than any other career. I have had other careers before teaching and working with kids is the most rewarding one. From making a difference in their lives, watching them learn, um, watching teachers teach a kid how to read is one of the most magical things you've ever seen. Um, and just watching them grow and succeed and helping them make those positive changes. 
Absolutely. And what is why is student teaching so critical and essential for to be a successful teacher? If you don't have that taste of what it's like to work with kids, manage a classroom, um, see what actually a little bit of a taste of what you have to do as a real teacher, a full time teacher, it, you wouldn't be successful. You need to have that practical experience from observations to short term to longer terms and more responsibilities. Otherwise, if you were just placed into a classroom, you would not be successful. So, Mr. Elson, looking back at your undergraduate degree, how have you seen the transition from being a student teacher, student, I guess, to a student teacher to become a successful teacher? Um, it's been huge. With, when I went to uh, university, I was 26. So I started teaching when I was 30. Um, so I had a career before teaching. Um, entering as an adult into uh, the education field was a challenge to begin with, like financially for everybody. Right. But the student teaching was so critical in giving me the experience to run my classroom. From first starting off, you know, you walk in, you, you know, you have all the lecture, the theory material from your university professors, but until you get in front of a classroom and start to put it in place and have the experienced teacher with you to say, you know what, that was great. You may want to not do that again. Right. And you learn and you grow so much in each of the phases of your practicums. It's, it's critical to, I remember making mistakes and they're going, here, try this instead. You know, walk around the room. Um, keep an eye on those kids. Those little tips and tricks that a teacher shows you in your student teaching phase are critical to be successful in managing your own classroom. In your perspective and your experience, why is student teaching so important? Student teaching is, is very important to help the students understand if this is the actual career that they want to pursue. Having nine weeks of uh, time in a school, whether it's high school, junior high, elementary, really shows them what this career is all about and how much actual work it, it is. So putting in the nine weeks definitely helps them answer that question. Absolutely. And in your experience, any words of wisdom for students going to the practicum next year or this coming fall? Uh, very important that they come in with an uh, open mind of how to create relationships with staff and students at the schools they're in. Uh, most of them come into there thinking, ah, it's great, I'm going to do all this teaching and learn teaching these concepts and everything. But it really comes down to kids will learn if you know how to teach the concepts, but they also want to create a really, a really strong relationship with you. Well, great words of wisdom. Thank you so much, Mr. Van Stratton. Thank you. Now we have a familiar face back on EduLife. We have Cheryl Story, who is a field experience associate from the University of Alberta. You may have seen her on EduLife a couple weeks back, but she's here again to talk to us about field experiences. So again, she's a field experience associate. So Cheryl, what is a field experience associate and how or what do you do in schools and in student teaching? Okay, hi Serena. Um, we are seconded teachers or administrators from either Edmonton Public or Edmonton Catholic. So we are frontline teachers and we work with the student teachers to help them to understand what their role is in the practicum and we also work with schools to make sure that practicums run smoothly. So we like to build relationships with the schools we work with, we like to build relationships with the student teachers and we do become involved if there are problems in the practicum. Um, the university facilitator is always your frontline person who sees you every every week but if there's a problem we would come out and maybe do some mediation we might issue a notification of concern if the student teacher has specific things that they need to work on and if there is um, a real problem with the practicum and the students learning is being impacted there are times that we do terminate practicums and student teachers would get a second chance to do the same practicum again we always recommend that maybe they might volunteer or something well, that's good to know. So, Cheryl, what is the best thing about being a field experience associate in your experience? I get to see all sorts of different schools, and I get to see from kindergarten to grade 12, and lots of innovative practices happening in the schools, and it's really great to watch student teachers grow and develop and come out and watch them teach. It's, it's fabulous. Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Serena.